Stray Kids are releasing an album. At the start of 2022, Stray Kids uploaded a video where they unveiled their plans for the year, which was a fun video for fans narrated by none other than Felix. The plans in the video included things like the second fan meeting, a second world tour, the release of two albums, and the SK Zoo pop-up store, things which all ended up happening. However, there are two things that haven't come out yet, raising the curiosity of fans. SKZ Player, an SKZ record album, and SKZ Flicks. And since we're approaching the end of the year, expect to see all of them very soon. SKZ Record and SKZ Player is going to become the collection of all the songs released by the members, which until now could only be found on YouTube. However, we don't know if the songs will be brand new and unheard of by fans, or if it will include songs like Hans's Alien or Tongue Bean Streetlight. This only leaves SKZ Flicks something that has piqued the curiosity of fans since they have no idea what it could be about. The main speculation is that it could be a movie or documentary about the members. At the end of October, there there were three skits that Stray Kids released as their original series that were done in collaboration with Lotte Duty Free, making fans believe that SKZ Flicks is a documentary and something bigger than everyone has expected. We're left to wait and see. With J-Hope's solo album being released in July of this year, Jean's solo song Astronaut, and RM's album coming out very soon, the other BTS members are also set to release their solos. Well, expect to see them in the near future. According to HYBE CEO Park ji Won, the other members Suga, Jimin, V, and Jungkook are going to release released their solo work in some time in 2023. It's been speculated that all four members are going to release albums, since most of them have already teased their work on Twitter. V has been posting snippets of his song on Twitter and Instagram stories, while Jungkook teased fans with the snippet of Decalcomania in 2019. Nevertheless, fans are excited to see what the members have to offer, especially since it's the first time releasing solo albums for the three youngest members. Jisoo has raised concerns amongst netizens regarding her health. On a screenshot of a video from Blackpink's concert that was spread on various online communities, Jisoo can be seen with a strange lump on her neck. Fans have already started speculating on her health since, according to them, Jisoo had suffered similar symptoms in the past. Some thought that it could be lymphoma, saying, Isn't it necessary to do a biopsy? Lymphoma is cancer that occurs in the lymphatic system and is not so rare that about 5,000 new patients are enrolled every year. Suspicious symptoms include painless lumps in the neck, armpits, and groin. Some try to calm the fandom down and keep rumors from escalating, saying, It's nothing big, so don't worry. It comes out when she's tired, so it goes away when she gets a good rest. She has gotten checked under ultrasound and everything was fine. The fans went on to explain that the lump is smaller in size when the group is on a break, but gets bigger when the group has a packed schedule. Some suggested that the lumps could indicate swelling in the lymph nodes due to stress, Jisoo's current busy schedule, and her lack of rest. YG Entertainment has yet to release a statement to explain everything. There was a post about Ives' Wonyoung that went semi-viral on online communities, but for the first time in a while, it wasn't a negative one. An online community user made a post saying that people nowadays find easygoing and humble celebrities more appealing, but the original poster said that they personally preferred celebrities who hide their real personalities and took Won Young as an example. They said, because she's so good at managing herself, she kind of makes me want to copy her. They went on to say that the idols who are hated the most are the ones that appear mysterious to the public. With Won Young being one of the most popular fourth gen idols at the moment, Netizen shared their thoughts on the matter. A comment from a Netizen said, I really don't know what people find problematic about her. Idols from past generations all wanted to be mysterious. They put a lot of effort into making their image, and they also managed themselves a lot. Another netizen said that they don't really like idols who are too unnatural, but with Won Young being so pretty and her expressions on stage being flawless, they said that they understand why Won Young would become so popular. Overall, the comments praised Won Young for being good at her job while also keeping her personal life private. Based on the netizen's comments, what makes Won Young so likable is that she isn't trying to convince anyone that she's the kindest person ever and is showing that through her actions. DKZ's Jae Chun admitted to the public that he wanted to leave the K-pop music industry entirely. Jae Chun recently got popular for his role in Semantic Error, a BL series that was adapted from the webtoon of the same name. Jae Chun portrayed the role of Chu Sang-woo, a university student that is so emotionless and inflexible that he almost seems like a robot. The series revolves around Chu Sang-woo and his meeting with the popular and handsome Jung Jae-yong, portrayed by actor Park So-ham, who's also a former member of KNK. The role ended up giving the two tons of awards. They won the Best Couple Award, and Jae Chun got the Popularity Star Award actor at the Apon Star Awards. He also was awarded the Acting Idol of the Year Male at the Brand of the Year Awards, and also won the Popular Star Award at the Blue Dragon Series Awards. But a recent revelation of Jae Chun shocked the fans. On October 29th, DKZ made an appearance on JTBC's new music show, Music Universe K909. During the episode, Jae 
Tom said that the company told him to reconsider taking the role since he was actively promoting as an idol and he didn't have any resistance or fear in regard to the genre of the show. He said, I thought it would be my last chance to do something in the entertainment industry because during that time, I had thoughts like, do I need to stop? There wasn't much output and as two, three years went by, I couldn't help but get tired. He then said that he couldn't believe people ended up liking the drama, him and even his group and that it was something that he couldn't have even imagined. The members all agreed with him saying that they were thankful to Jaytun for the opportunities that the group got after the series success and that they hope the names of each and every member of DKZ can be known. NCT 127's concert in Indonesia was a disaster which started before the concert even began. NCT 127 are set to hold a two-day concert in Indonesia as part of their Neo City The Link tour, but a few hours before the day one show, the venue which the show was going to happen at was threatened with a bomb attack. According to the media outlet Coconuts Jakarta, the police took action as soon as they were notified of the threat as they sent out a squad and its canine unit. Thankfully, there were no explosives found at the venue and the Jakarta Metro Police spokesman Andra Zulpan announced that the concert wouldn't be postponed. Detik News then reported that the security at the venue would be increased and that the ticketing system would be implemented to feature a sensor device to track the number of people that enter the venue. There were also going to be more emergency exits added and police officers were going to be deployed on the site. Unfortunately, this didn't stop bad things from happening. The concert had to abruptly end since fans were pushing each other, fainting, and struggling to breathe. This all happened because Taeyong had handed his signed ball to one of his fans that was standing at the front of the barricade, making the other fans from the back start pushing and causing the barricade to fall. The members had to stop their performance so they could ask about everyone's condition and ask the people in the standing section to move backward to give other people some space. Because of everything that was going on, the event's promoter and police had to stop the concert after 30 people fainted and others were having a hard time breathing. After the concert was done, Taeyong went on Bubble and wrote, In this place, Jakarta, there are many people who came to make happy memories with us, but I'm really sorry because it seems that we made bad memories. He also said that they would take all the measures so they can prevent something like this from happening again. Kakao Entertainment were recently exposed for owning the infamous media page Idol Issue. Idol Issue is known among the K-pop community for having negative and controversial posts about Kakao's company rivals targeting groups like Espa, La Seraphim, and New Jeans. Idol Issue would make positive posts about groups under IST Entertainment and Starship, which are subsidiaries of Kakao, and make negative and controversial posts about the groups under the companies that are their competition. Kakao also merged with Melon in 2013, making fans question all the nominations for Melon Music Awards as TXT and New Jeans didn't receive their deserved nominations. They assume that Kakao is manipulating the numbers to push their groups to the front. It gets worse though. In August of last year, it was reported that Hybe, CJ, and Kakao Entertainment were reportedly competing to acquire Lee Suman shares in SM Entertainment. Fans speculated that due to Kakao's anger towards the fact that they won't acquire the shares, they started badmouthing Espa and writing negative posts about them in order to manipulate public opinion. It doesn't help that SM doesn't do anything to protect the groups and that the public is prone to hating popular groups. However, this is making people question how Kakao hasn't faced any consequences for this except for public backlash. Thank you for watching and for more news and articles about the K-pop world, make sure to check out our website cookielit.com. I'll see you next time. Bye!